So my, my original dream for this video you're watching here was going to be me buying a vise and getting out my welder and welding together a nice little stand for my vise to go onto the back. Sparks would have flown. That'd look super cool doing it. Um, then I decided to go on Amazon and cheat and look at vise mounts for, for trailer hitches. And the first thing that popped up was this thing. So Wilton ATV Hitch Mount Vice. Uh, ATV stands for uh, All Terrain Vice. That's cute. So, yeah. So I saw this and I'm like, you know what? This, this was, uh, I think, $190 free shipping. I was going to pay like $150 for a vice and then do all that work to put it together and basically end up with a less good version of this. So... That's what I decided to do. I bought this instead. So let's get into the specs of the thing. Uh, first and foremost, it is a two inch hitch vise. Um, back here, you can see this thing's heavy, so it's kind of hard to maneuver around on, on camera here. Um, you got these little uh, hex keys down here. Uh, you can turn those out. <coughs> Excuse me. You can turn those out to uh, make it sit a little tighter in there, kind of take up the slack. Uh, my, my, my work truck is actually a two and a half inch uh, hitch. Um, so no matter what I do, it's going to be looser than that girl at the bar who's 35 years old and now wants to settle down and get married. But um, yeah, so I'm, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, the reason that I, I, I don't even know if they make these in a two and a half inch, but the reason I just stuck with the two inches is because more than likely I'm going to end up in a van again at some point in time and that's going to have a two inch hitch and my um personal truck has a two inch hitch so i'm not too worried about the 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 old flop there on my work truck i got an adapter to go from two and a half inch down to two inch it's basically just uh two inch uh box steel or square steel with a quarter inch wall that, that makes up the difference there getting into the actual business end of it Ooh, that ain't working um you got this little anvil here, um, which is kind of nice. It says, do not step on it. I'm sure that's more for them wanting you not to use this as a step, falling off, hurting yourself, and suing them. Kind of makes sense to me. Uh, Five-inch jaws, and they open uh, six inches. One other thing about this, it's made out of ductile steel, or ductile iron, I should say. Uh, ductile iron is just a, a higher grade of, of uh, cast iron. Uh, it's got a little bit different recipe than the stuff you would see in like say a motor housing where it doesn't really need to support anything aside from itself but yeah like I said this the ductile iron is it's just a little bit better. Then you got the pig iron which you'd see mostly in um, like counterweights and stuff like that where it's just a bunch of scrap steel you throw it into the thing you melt it down and you pour it into a mold. So yeah so that's nice. Um, the actual weight on it is 25 pounds, I believe, for this. So it's not too bad. Down underneath here, they kind of give you a little bit of handle for uh, for carrying it around, which is nice and balanced, which would be good for you know taking it on and off. I don't know if I would leave this on the back of the truck. It just seems like something that somebody would steal. Um, as far as uh, the coating goes, it's just a nice powder coating, kind of resist your uh, resist your corrosion there. Uh, it is a Wilton, like I said, which is an American company. I think they're based out of Tennessee. Um, the fact that it doesn't say made in the USA all over the the stuff kind of makes me just believe it's made in China. So it doesn't really, like I said, it doesn't say, but if it was made in the USA, they usually are very proud of that. And another cool thing is the handle here. It doesn't have your standard vice slip through handle that you would get. Uh, this just kind of sits here like this. And if you need to adjust it, it actually pulls out and kind of cams, which is nice. So if the handle's in the way, you could kind of swing it over here. Like so. Now getting into what my use is playing for this uh, basically you know it's just for light duty clamping you know if I got a cylinder I got to rebuild which it has pipe jaws down inside there if I got a cylinder I got to rebuild 
I could stick it in there, put it on the back of my on the back of my truck, and take the cylinder apart without having to worry about you know my my cheapo vice I got mounted to my my truck there, which I mean it, it does. I'm it, not my truck, my my toolbox, um, which again it it does all right that that little vice, but I don't know if I'd be beating on it too much just because it's mounted to a sheet metal toolbox. And um, yeah, I mean various you know got to hold apart and you know need a third hand. That's what this is for. So. Um, really not too much we could do with a vice as far as demonstration goes but uh, I don't know maybe I'll go out to my truck we'll we'll throw it in a hitch and put something in it and I don't know see what happens but um yeah so let's go ahead and do that and uh, we'll, we'll come back and give you my final thoughts on it one thing I forgot to mention too um, it does come with it with a hitch pin I obviously don't need one And that's the adapter I was talking about earlier. That goes in there. And that basically slides in there. And you put the hitch pin in, or hairpin I should say. This head is about as loose as that 35 year old girl sitting in the bar, but it'll serve its purpose. So I got like a two and a half inch cheater pipe here. Let's throw that in there and see how good she clamps onto it. Kind of like that ratcheting feature. There you got a big old pipe wrench here. That's pretty good, as far as clamping strength goes. I'm a big boy, and it's holding on pretty good. Now, another thing I want to check out. Sometimes with cheaper vices, when you start beating on them, if the screw isn't machined well, Um, actually start loosening up so I got some I think it's eighth inch steel in there let's take that and let's beat it a little bit with Bartha we got headphones on fair warning I got a piece of angle iron. I'm so used to the vice <laughs> doing that. First beauty marks on it too. Seems pretty good to me. So there we go. That is a, a vice, and that was a video about a vice. Um, as I say, I was honestly uh, contemplating whether or not I should even make a video about a vice because there's really not, I mean, too much going on here. But uh, to be honest with you, I didn't know these things existed, and I find that sometimes when I don't know something exists, other people don't know they exist, and uh, it's helpful to share it. I mean, mostly I didn't know it, it, ex it didn't exist was because I've never looked for it before, but uh, I might be the only person out here who doesn't know. But I mean, the ones I usually see if other people have, and like ones that people have attached to their hitches while I'm driving down the road, are the DIY uh, style, or it's just a 
typical bench vise that's mounted to a hitch. And um, I, I've used a few of those in the past, uh, either other people's or or ones that I've had on other on other vehicles. And those things are a pain in the butt to carry around. I mean, they're they're never balanced right, and they're heavier than hell. Whereas to this thing, I think it was like 25 pounds. I think is what I said it was. And that little handle hold right there, that kind of is really nicely balanced underneath of it. Um, I could see myself using this more because it's just easier to get around. Uh, yeah, so for a medium duty vice, I can't see anything wrong with it. I mean, it it holds things, it clamps down real nice. Uh, you know, once it's on the ground, I get my little collapsible stool and I can sit there and do what I need to do in, uh, next to it. But um, yeah, so I like it. I think you guys might like it too if you're you're in the need of such a thing. Um, I'll put a put a link down in the uh, description there. And uh, as always, uh, thanks for watching. Comments, concerns, anything of that nature, put it down in the comment section. I'll try my best to get back to you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I think I already said that. Anyway, there you go.